Hi everybody, welcome to you all to the home of Manchester United, Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. Alan Smith had plenty of dreams in his football career and a lot of reality as well. Alan alongside me, Martin Tyler. This is today's game, Manchester United against Aston Villa. Aston Villa, I know a club close to your heart when you were growing up, Alan. But uh, they could do with you playing in your prime at the moment to get some goals. Well, you look at the chances created and there's uh, been enough to warrant more goals scored than they actually have. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Morgan Schneiderlin starts with Michael Carrick in the middle. And at the point of attack, just one lone striker. Aston Villa team for this game. Brad Guzan plays in goal. Julian Lescott plays alongside Kieran Clark in the heart of the defence. Ashley Westwood starts, a player struggling for form. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. Manchester United, what do you make of them, Alan? It has been a long, hard season. And they've done well to get to this point in a European League place. Just a question of holding their nerve and their form, and they should be there. Well, it's a big time for Manchester United. They had a couple of seasons without silverware, Alan. Yeah, and when that happens, obviously, big questions are asked and the, the pressure's ranked up on those players that are wearing the shirt at that time. That's Jonathan Moss who's refereeing today's game. Manchester United getting the first half underway. Rojo. Mata. There's some potential in this move. Shot on! Comfortable that for the goalkeeper. Rojo. Be a corner for United. Sissoko. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. It's Carrick. but only just. Rojo. Morgan Schneiderlin. It was Bobby Charlton, I think, who nicknamed this ground the Theatre of Dreams, and he certainly made a lot of his dreams and Manchester United fans' dreams come true as a player and, of course, has been associated with the club ever since. Yeah, and many, many entertaining flip. And now the shot! That would be a goal kick. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close! Yeah, and he's gone for the corner with power, so he wasn't too far away from achieving his goal, but just hitting the post. Rojo. Carlos 
Thomas Sanchez. Mata. And by Manchester United's high standards, this hasn't been a great start. Tremendous understanding from these players. Carrick, what a fine save. There he was, and very, very coolly taken. Talk about passing the ball into the net. Well, there is a prime example. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Strong, fair challenge, balls out for a throw, though. Well, no delay here. Kieran Clark. Here they are, the Manchester United fans, hoping that this is a prelude for better things. They have got the lead, they haven't been at their very best. And of course, they're capable of upping a gear. Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. Good hands, bread and butter work really by the goalkeeper, but he did it very competently. He's having a good game. Added time coming up, there'll be two minutes of it. Now Clark. Lescott. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's 1 0 here. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Westwood. Chris Smalling. And the referee's given Manchester United the free kick. Damia. Schneiderle. Well, that is going to be the goalkeepers quite straightforwardly, quite simply. And he can pick the ball up. Ali Sissoko. Chris Smalling. Rojo. Carrick on the ball. Damian. He's crossed it well. Very nearly a goal. It's hit the bar and it's back in play. Of all the decisions that are difficult to get right on a regular basis, offside, probably right up there, isn't it, Alan? Right here? Yeah, when the defence is pushing up and the players rushing through, it's such a difficult decision, but it's a good one in this case. And this will be uh, two changes at one go for the manager.
a chance. I could have put that away, but not quite. Is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. Jordan Ayew. And it's going to be his throw here. Well, they've got the ball there and they want to restart the game. You can understand that with the throw on it goes. Morgan Schneiderlin. And he could get away here. Shot on! A well saved! Corner for Manchester United. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. to the goal has gone with that clearance. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Rojo. It's a decent cross. Well, that has cost them, but only a corner. Could have been worse. possession here Idrissa Ghana Gay it's a real tussle between the two of them to try and get the ball they put that cross far too close to the goalkeeper really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress now it's a poor cross not well hit at all dealt with by the defending side it's going to go right to the wire here with this one goal lead and the supporters well they've upped their game there's no question about that just listen to them yeah they've been brilliant but it's been a close game and you wouldn't put it past the visitors to to nick a goal back there's been some real start oh they thought they were in but the flag has gone up It's a great on and shoots at full extension. The goalkeeper makes the save. Well, they've got to take this risk now for the corner. Up comes the keeper. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even punched away by the goalkeeper. This could be it. Kept his goal and looped it into the empty net. There'll be some questions asked about this later. No, oh, the keeper's gone walkabouts, but... What a gilt-edged golden opportunity. Couldn't miss. And here is another.
another angle on that goal. Margin here to 2 0. And the referee has blown his whistle. It's 2 0, the final score. Well, sometimes you get a win by nicking the result, really, but not today. They've gone out there on the front foot, stayed on the front foot, and got what they deserved. Yeah, not just the strikers, the way they did attack as a team. Um, the players that assisted the goals, it, it was first class from start to finish. Well, it has been a thrilling game, and the visiting team have scored goals this time, but they didn't get enough, did they? Well, it's difficult to see any end in sight for this team because they didn't give us much encouragement out there today. Understanding. And shoots! At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. 